Um, I am back. I am going to stream some more uh, Diablo. Uh, last time I beat Diablo 1, this time I am going to start Diablo 2, which is an amazing, amazing game. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll just skip over that. It's just an intro. So. Okay, now, uh, before we start with the actual game itself, I'm going to start with the opening cinematic. Now, unfortunately, I tried to stream this before, and for some reason, my uh, OBS went down. Um, it's not because of the game. It's, sometimes it just goes down randomly for no reason. So hopefully it doesn't do that again. So I, I just want to play out this entire cinematic because we only saw, like, like maybe, like, a few minutes of it. So anyways, uh, here we go. This is the start to Diablo 2. Like I, like you were saying before, Mr. Gort, uh, these graphics are pretty fucking awesome. I like them a lot. For 2000, 2001, they did a hell of a job. Yeah, I, I don't know. Twitch is kind of... Well, I, I don't know if that was a Twitch issue or it was my streaming device, so... It could have been both. Twitch has been very uh, uh, twitchy lately. No pun intended. So, Marius, at last I find you. He's still on drugs, so he thinks he's an angel. Yes. No. I should have known you'd travel in disguise. There, they're always watching. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. I was rather beginning to think you didn't want to be found. Oh, forgive me, Tyrion, please. It wasn't my fault. Not your fault. Tell me, Marius, how was it not your fault? The Wanderer. Yes, it was... was the Wanderer. My days at the Rogue Citadel seemed so long ago. There's my favorite bartender. <laughs> From you want something? In the I love that line. You want something? Like, I feel like they just found a random intern to do that line. Like, I don't know what to do. Do you want something? Do you want something? And he's high on drugs. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh, I fought sleep for days. Oh yeah, the voice acting is amazing. For when I dreamt. Memories would return. Memories of the monastery <laughs> and the evil which had claimed it. Dreams, memories. I couldn't tell the difference anymore. By the way, just to let you know, this game came out four years after the originals, so they had a lot of time to work on this. My dreams followed me at my heels. How had he found me here? How could this broken shell of a man barely able to carry the weight of his own sword be the burning terror which you drove want something? me to hide you want something? here? That's my favorite line in this whole game. You want something? seemed to 
seemed to have demons of his own that he struggled to contain. <laughs> <laughs> And they decided to do slow mo on that guy laughing for some reason. Like these graphics are amazing for for two thousand one. Oh shit! Oh shit! He's like, oh man, this 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 opium's really kicking in. I became convinced that I was truly bad. The terror, the destruction, the, the evil I witnessed. How else could I explain them? Oh yeah, yeah, that is true. Were like when he's like, hey, that's my dinner. Were they born within the wonder? This is so crazy. <laughs> and he just sits there like, oh. When I first saw this, my mind was blown. I was like, holy fuck. It is the power of drugs. <laughs> Why did I follow him? Look at those shadows. Why oh my god, for fucking 2001, doing shadows like oh, that I is like the so fucking difficult. I had to follow him from that moment. We traveled together east, always into the east. Fuck yeah, that is a really good opening cinematic. That's why I wanted to play it. So, so uh, to let you guys know, this is not just Diablo 2. This is Diablo 2 plus the Lords of Destruction uh, expansion. And there actually is a lot of cinematics for that part as well. So this is actually like playing a game and a half. Because, I mean, the expansion really is an expansion. It adds on so much. Okay, so in the last stream, uh, before things got all fucked up, I, I started a new character, an assassin. So we will... But actually, to be honest, I, I want to play a different character. I like assassins, but I want to try something else. Let's uh, do... Actually, I like druids. Druids are pretty fucking cool, but um, I'm trying to pick. I don't know. What do you guys think? Which character? Paladin is, is the easiest one to play. Um... Barbarians are okay, but... Yeah, I want to be a druid. Yeah, I applaud it too, uh, Mr. Gord. It's, it's fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm going to play as a druid, because druids can do a fuck ton in this game, so... Good day. All right, so for those of you who have never played Diablo 2, you can see there is a lot of shit. I'm going to click on this. So so look, it it has so many different things you can do in this game. Um, and it tells you everything to start out with, which is really nice. It's a very minimalist way to give a tutorial. So, um, so 
yeah, so there's all this different stuff you can do. So, And we'll find out about these later character stats. Uh, you got your inventory where you you can have two sets of weapons which is awesome you can have two sets of weapons uh, which you don't see very often um, skill trees which is okay. different yeah I know shut the fuck up uh, so uh, with skill trees so whenever you level up you get one skill point where you can add that to whatever you want and there's different skill types and of course you get all the way to the bottom. Like this guy has summoning, so you can summon animals. Uh, shape shifting, which is really cool. And elemental, which is his magic stuff. So, pretty cool. Um, and then there's the map, which in this game they actually made a map for town, which is cool. And then they have message log, which, yeah, if you want to look at messages, they have quest logs. Now, this is actually useful uh, later on when you haven't played for a while. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Um, and then the game menu. Um, and I'm going to turn down... Okay, the sound is still turned down. Okay, good. All right. Okay, enough of me talking. Uh, one more thing I want to show you, though. You can fucking run in this game. Unlike uh, the last game. Uh, actually, I don't like that perspective. I'm going to turn that off. Perspective is kind of jarring, so I like the normal way things look. So. Oh, greetings, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since uh. the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. So they're basically uh, talking about what happened the at the again. end of uh, the first Diablo. I don't know so. if I believe that. But a dark wanderer did travel this The dark wanderer weeks. is well, you can probably guess who the dark wanderer is. So maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's Oh shit, yes. I didn't Ah, uh, god damn it, whatever. You saw it before. He just says that until it's open again, he'll see you. And then he tells you about other people in town he can go talk to. So, so this map is pretty awesome, actually. So, so in inside town, your stamina never goes down, but outside of town, it will um, from running and other shit. The Dark Wanderer's brain. <laughs> That would be awesome if it was him. I am Akara, High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, Traveler, to our camp. But I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness. And Dariel. I still can't believe it. But she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse, and we will pledge our loyalty to you. For all time. So she gave you the first quest. Look for the den in the wildlands. Yeah, so that's... The order welcomes you. I played this game to death when it first came out. Okay, so you start out with no money. Um, you can buy this shit when you have more. Now this is nice. This is one thing I'm so happy they did in this game. They... They did a tome of Town Portal. Now this takes up space in your inventory, uh, but you can hold up to 20 Town Portals in this book, which is awesome. Also the same with Identity. So so they don't have books anymore. They have uh, just tomes. Uh, and these are the only two tomes in the game. Other spells you learn through your uh, skills. So slightly different than the first Diablo, where you could just find random books and learn whatever the fuck you want so 
they limit it a little bit, but not not so much that you feel like it's daunting. Hi there, I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good God, to see some strong adventurers big around boobs. here. <laughs> Many of our sisters fought bravely against Diablo when he first attacked the town of Tristram. They came back to us true veterans, bearing some really powerful items. They put a lot Seems of effort like into voice acting in this game. There's Most so many different characters that uh, have things to say. What can I do for you? Okay, now you can buy weapons here, which I highly recommend. Oh yeah, another cool thing in this game is some weapons have sockets. Let's see if I can find one. No, none of them have sockets. Uh, maybe later. Oh yeah. Okay, so this game, th so this game introduced sockets, which you find a gem and you put it in a socket, and it adds an ability to the weapon or to the armor. Uh, so it's really fucking awesome. You can make a weapon or armor do whatever you want. Uh, there's even a way later on to make a weapon socketed, which is awesome. Yeah, the game is fucking huge. Uh, especially, like, here, let me show you. So this quest log, this is only the first act. It goes all the way to Act 5 um, with the expansion. Without the expansion, it goes to Act 4, so. Good day to you, partner. I'm Geed, and I can already tell that I'll This is the Billy Crystal of this game. <laughs> a spare weapon, some gold, a small gem is all I want in exchange for the equipment you'll need on whatever quest you might undertake. No, 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 don't be shy. All of my items are guaranteed for life and come with a two-day warranty. Which, I don't, that's not really true, but whatever. Um, there's someone else here too, I think. No, I think that's all the... This is just like a settlement, so it's not that big a deal. Okay, so... So now, like I said, um, a big thing... Because this game is so huge, I mean, these quests really do help, so... Because then you can at least track where you're supposed to go, so... Now, unlike Diablo, where if you killed all the enemies in a, in a level... Uh, they wouldn't respawn until you started the game over. In this game, the levels start out random and they stay the same. But, uh, if you restart the game, all the enemies will respawn. So it makes leveling up super easy. So it begins. Can I use... Yeah, I don't have any... He, he doesn't start out with any spells. That kind of sucks. So what I do is I just explore everything, so... And by the way, this game is not from online. I actually have this... I have the original CDs, so I'm playing from that. So right now, it's nothing special, but once you level up, like, this is your experience bar, which is nice they put that on the outside. <laughs> Hit him in half. Now nothing in there. Just, just a house. Oh yeah, there's... The traps in this game are a lot more effective than in the uh, first game. Are the corpses persistent or just just for each screen? What what do you mean by persistent? Do you mean is there a lot of enemies? Um, there's usually a lot of enemies in this game. They did a good job of actually managing, like, where enemy placement is. Ooh, 
magic leather gloves. So I can wear these right away. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I have to identify them first. Okay, that's cool. Oh yeah, when you put on different pieces of armor, it changes the way you look. Like, those gloves, like, you can't see them, but I mean, once I get other pieces of armor and, and stuff, you'll see uh, definite changes in the avatar, which is awesome. Um, unlike the first game where things barely change at all, so... Uh, if, if I leave and come back to this area, they will, the, the corpses will still be here. Uh, but if I restart the game, everything respawns, which is actually pretty cool. Because it makes leveling so easy in this game. But trust me, you need it, especially when you get near the end of the game. Oh my god. If you're not a high level by the end of the game, then it's going to suck for you. Okay, so I leveled up. We're going to put all these points in strength. And now I have a new skill. I'm going to do summoning, so... Let's do ravens, so... So now I can summon ravens with the right click. And they do some damage, so... Not so much now, but uh, later on you can summon like eight or nine different things at once, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so rack an issue. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Ooh, a socketed short sword. That might be pretty good. Um, oh, and he has... Oh, shit. Oh, but this is a sorceress. Uh, so, uh, so different classes have different abilities. They also have different um, benefits. Like, if I was a sorceress, I could have both of these spells plus one. Um, but I'm not a sorceress. I'm a druid, so... Once I find a druid item, then uh, it's really helpful. Uh, so. Actually, I was going to do something else too. Oh yeah, see, it already put the, cl the, the cracked quilted armor in my, on my chest. But I'm not going to use it uh, very long just because it's cracked. It's pretty worthless. So probably going to sell it. Also, just like the original game, this game's music, it loops, but the music is done so well that you don't even notice it's there. It's more like ambient, so it doesn't really it doesn't really mess things up that it loops, so. Oh, fulminating potions. These are cool. You can Oh, I can't. Oh yeah, you have to equip the throw it. These are pretty cool. Oh, it didn't work. God damn it. Oh, I still have some. Sorry. <laughs> but actually, if you're not going to use these, I wouldn't because they sell for a, these little things sell for a lot. So I don't. Ooh, chipped emerald. Okay, so I can show you right away. So I found an emerald. I can add that to the sword. So it shows here weapons plus 10 poison damage over three seconds, which is pretty cool. So if I. So let me show you exactly. So right now, does two out of eight damage. But if I socket it. Now it does 11 out of 17 damage. 11 to 17 damage, which is pretty fucking cool. So yeah, sockets are fucking awesome. It even changes the the coloring a little bit on the sword, 
wonder if I can zoom in. No, it doesn't let you zoom in on this game like the first one, so. Oh yeah, and it gets dark. Look, notice how it's dark. Like, how there's an aura around me, but everything else is dark. Because there is day-to-night cycles in this game. Which is fucking crazy. That there's day-to-night cycles in this game. Not that it adds to the game at all. There's no benefits, but yeah. Okay, sashes. This is another cool thing. So, like, now I can hold more things. Like, I could only hold four before, but now I can hold eight. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, I know they're old things. I don't know why they put that in this game, to be honest, because it doesn't add any benefits, so. Okay, there's the den of evil, so. So, this is where evil hides. He's already overburdened. Fucking hell. Ah, god damn, because of all this shit. Jesus Christ. Um, well, let's go ahead and sell this shit. So. Town portals work pretty damn good in this game. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna buy these tomes because you will use these fucking things for the rest of the game. So. Man, that's so close. Okay, that's good for now. Also, it's good to carry keys on you. Just because you never know when you come across a locked, uh, like a locked uh, box in this game. Oh yeah, one other thing I forgot to show you. Unlike the other game, like where you barely have any place to store shit, they actually give you your own bank. Like, okay, so so you can have a max gold of twenty of two. Okay, so they never showed this before. This must be. An expansion thing but later on you can you can expand this make your stash bigger if you want so you can put money in here uh, see I just put money in there so because you do lose money whenever you die you lose a certain amount of money and that's kind of a penalty so oh, okay that's cool man yeah, and this game day to night is just day to night. It's nothing Good nothing amazingly special, so Okay, so I I don't know yeah, I don't really want uh let's see this and there's magic bucklers. That's kind of nice, but I don't have enough money. I need to get better fucking armor though. Okay. Because this armor sucks ass, so let's buy some boots. Just so we have some standard armor. Ooh. 
that's a nice one, but um, I don't have enough money. Um, 